Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, October 21st. I'm Deaconess Intern Claire here at Holy Shepherd Lutheran Church, and it is time for our daily devotion. We are um, continuing on in chapter 15 of Matthew, and we're starting at the 21st verse. Leaving that place, Jesus withdrew to the region region of Tyre and Sidon, a Canaanite woman from the vicinity came to him crying out, Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. My daughter is demon possessed and suffering terribly. Jesus did not answer a word. So his disciples came to her and urged him, send her away for she keeps crying out after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. The woman came and knelt before him. Lord, help me, she said. He replied, it is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs. Yes, Lord, she said. Even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. And Jesus said to her, woman, you have great faith. Your request is granted. And her daughter was healed at that moment. Jesus left there and went along to the Sea of Galilee. And then he went up a mountainside and sat down. Great crowds came to him, bringing the lame, the blind, the crippled, the mute, and many others, and laid them at his feet. And he healed them. The people were amazed when they saw the mute speaking, the crippled made well, the lame walking, and the blind seeing. They praised the God of Israel. Jesus called to his disciples and said, I have compassion for these people. They have already been with me three days and have nothing to eat. I do not want to send them away hungry or they may collapse on the way. His disciples answered, where could we get enough bread in this remote place to feed such a crowd? How many loaves do you have? Jesus asked. Seven, they replied, and a few small fish. He told the crowd to sit down on the ground. Then he took the seven loaves and fish, and when they had given thanks, he broke them and gave them to the disciples, and they turned to the people. They all ate and were satisfied. Afterward, the pick disciples picked up seven baskets full of bread, broken pieces that were left over. The number of those who ate was 4,000 men besides women and children. After Jesus had sent the crowd away, he got into the boat and went to the, into the, the vicinity of Magadan. Okay, so, ooh, just shook the table. Um, so the faith of the Canaanite woman is an interesting um, tale that we see in Matthew's gospel because of course, I remember the first time that I heard this, I was a little taken aback by what Jesus said um because it seems like he's outright ignoring this woman um and it, it as we we usually when we think of Jesus we don't think of an individual who is um exclusively here for specific individuals or is going to ignore people who are literally at his feet crying and asking for help um however that is almost exactly what we see here in Matthew 15 um and so what what does this actually mean? What is Jesus doing here? Well, so every time Jesus doesn't do things unintentionally, there's always a purpose behind his actions. So he wasn't ever going to leave this woman hanging, just kind of deciding like, well, well, she's not good enough. I didn't actually come for the Gentiles. It's just the children of Israel that I'm here for. In this moment, however, she, he uses this woman to teach his disciples about faith. So these men that have been with him for so long um, have followed him throughout his ministry ever since he was baptized. Um, and they saw like the heavens split open and the spirit of the Lord descend upon him in a dove. Um, they still, we look back just a few verses and we have Peter saying, explain this to me. And Jesus replying, are you still so dull? In this moment, we see Jesus use the faith of an individual who is even outside of the covenant. So a woman who did not grow up believing in the Lord of Israel, did not believe in the coming Messiah, and yet she comes seemingly out of nowhere. Um, she heard that Jesus was in the, in the vicinity. She knew that she needed help for her child, and she ran to this man who she knew to be the Christ. So in that moment, she is displaying the faith that Jesus wants for everyone and that she has more, like she has more genuine faith in this moment, recognizing who Jesus is. It's almost it mirrors exactly the story of the centurion. He says, I have people under me. I know that when I tell them to do something, they're going to do it. And she, here, this Canaanite woman is reflecting that. She just says, um, and she says, even the dogs eat the crumbs from the master's table. She recognizes that even something, I, 
significantly less than what she requests will be better than anything she can find elsewhere. Um, so this is not only an opportunity for her to establish her faith, to grow in her faith, to display her faith. It's also an opportunity that Jesus is using to teach others, his disciples, about faith. Um, then, of course, following this, we see the feeding of the 4,000, which the feeding of the 4,000 is only recorded in Matthew and Mark's gospel. Um, and But we see it here. And the feeding of the 4,000, of course, mirrors that of the 5,000. In the 5,000, we have 12 baskets left over that distinguishes Jesus um, provides enough food to feed 12 tribes of Israel. Here we only have, we have seven. And of course, then if we want to get very specific, the numerology, fun stuff, seven, number of creation, number of perfection. So God, or Jesus can provide stuff that allows people to, to be filled, be complete in so they're healed and now they are physically fed um and left over is seven so and now these people can rest in the fact that their bellies are full even though they're far from home and they can travel so lots of fun things right here and very short amounts of verses <laughs> so but now if you will bow your heads with me and we will pray the lord's prayer our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All right, announcements. Um, today, currently, right now, people are arriving, if you can hear that, or that's why I started talking louder. Um, we have surviving the holidays here. So if you, we're heading into a time of celebration, of family, of friends, but that can also be a difficult time for some people during the year. So come on down. Mary has some wonderful things to teach us about stuff. So um, it's at 1030. You have a few minutes still. Anyways. Then tomorrow we have Sunday school at 9.15, followed by worship at 10.30. There is no confirmation tomorrow, and there is also no adult instruction on Monday. Um, those are all the announcements I can think of right now. So um, I hope to see you all tomorrow, and I hope you all go into the next week with happy hearts and wonderful outlook on life. I'll see you when I see you.